Hi, Bulldogs. I'm going to share with you Beverly Right Here by Kate DiCamillo. If you read Rainy Nightingale, this enters the same setting, characters, and world as that book. So this is about a girl named Beverly. She's 14 years old. She's run away from home many times, and she leaves again, and this time she decides she's never coming back. So it's about her life setting out on her own at just 14 years old. Beverly Right Here by Kate DiCamillo. Chapter 1. Buddy died, and Beverly buried him, and then she set off towards Lake Clara. She went the back way, through the orange groves. When she cut out onto Palmetto Lane, she saw her cousin, Joe Travis Joy, standing out in front of his mother's house. Joe Travis was 19 years old. He had red hair and a tiny little red beard and a red Camaro and a job roofing houses in Tamaray Beach. Beverly didn't like him much at all. Hey, said Joe Travis when he saw Beverly. I thought you moved to Tamaray, said Beverly. I did. I'm visiting is all. When are you going back, she said. Now, said Joe Travis. Beverly thought, Buddy's dead. My dog is dead. They can't make me stay. I'm not staying. No one can make me stay. And so she left. What are you going to Tamaray for, said Joe Travis. You got friends there or something? They were in the red Camaro. They were on the highway. Beverly didn't answer Joe Travis. Instead, she stared at the green-haired troll hanging from the rearview mirror. She thought how the troll looked almost exactly like Joe Travis, except that its hair was the wrong color and it didn't have a beard. Also, it seemed friendlier. Joe Travis said, do you like ZZ Top? Beverly shrugged. You want a cigarette? Said Joe Travis. No, said Beverly. Suit yourself. Joe Travis lit the cigarette and Beverly rolled down the windows. Hey, said Joe Travis, I got the AC on. Beverly leaned her face into the hot air coming through the open window. She said nothing. They went the whole way to Tamaray Beach with one window down and the air conditioning on full blast. Joe Travis smoked six cigarettes and ate one strip of beef jerky. In between the cigarettes and the beef jerky, he tapped his fingers on the steering wheel. The little troll rocked back and forth, blown about by gusts of air conditioning and wind, smiling an idiotic smile. Why were trolls always smiling anyway? Every troll Beverly had ever seen had a gigantic smile plastered on its face for absolutely no good reason. When they got to the city limits, Beverly said, You can let me out anywhere. Well, where are you headed, said Joe Travis. I'll take you there. I'm not going anywhere, said Beverly. Let me out. You don't got to be so secretive. Just tell me where you're going and I'll drop you off. No, said Beverly. Dang it, said Joe Travis. He slapped his hand on the steering wheel. You always did think you were better than everybody else on God's green earth. No, I didn't, said Beverly. Same as your mother, said Joe Travis. Ha, said Beverly. So that's the first little bit of Beverly right here. If you think it sounds like something you might like, you can put it on hold and I'll deliver it to you. Thanks.